Welcome to City Skylines Mass Transit DLC that was released on the 17th of May 2017 if you're watching this in the future. Now I've this DLC came with a lot of nice neat little tools. It certainly introduced a new way to manage the traffic which has always been a bit of a problem in City Skylines unless you use mods and various new forms of transport which i think these scenarios which is what we're going to be working through kind of encourage you to experiment with the fix the traffic one is a very good one guys if you want to learn how the new traffic management tools have been integrated into the game the one we're going to be doing now guys is ferry empire you can see the wind conditions is we've got to move 250,000 people transported by ship i.e stroke ferries population over 25,000 and it's got a relatively straightforward losing condition is we can't have less than zero money which i think which means it's an open-ended scenario compared to the fix the traffic one which has time constrained and i think that's all we can say i'll just have a quick look at the resources i don't think the oil and ore are going to be a big issue maybe a little bit of farming the trees is obviously there we've got water we've got road rail and we've actually got a ship connection that could be interesting i don't know if that's because we can build ferries i mean that could be good fun and planes although i doubt very much if we're going to get to planes and i think that's all we can do guys so let's kind of get straight into it now i will say that i have had a look at the map i haven't actually played the scenario but like with most things when you start a new game or a new map or a new scenario in city skylines you've got to have a good look round first and I've had a look round in advance just to save some time on this video because obviously me zooming in looking at things and not saying much isn't particularly very good a video. Now what I would normally say well let's do the story message Lake City is struggling with lacking public transport for some time now a brand new invention has been tested out in the city ferries the train is perfect for the, for this method of transport so your task is to build a formidable ferry network a true yeah, ferry empire okay now normally I would say pause the game that's my recommendation whenever you start a new game or something like that what you would do is pause the game while you look round. well I paused the game when I was looking around before and the money the, the the city compared to other scenarios is pretty stable and it's accumulating cash it's even growing slightly so I don't think I actually need to to pause the game while I look round. Now, if I zoom out, you can see the various cities. And I'm just going to show you guys a quick trick. If you come here and you come out here, you get a wider view. So we've got the a connection down there. The road's coming in from the north there. We've got various lakes, which obviously suggest by these narrow points need to be connected. And if we kind of come out here, and this this is the trick, guys. If you come out here and rotate oh my rotations a little bit off here and do it again and what you can see is you can see it from another perspective so by actually rotating and switching the perspective you can actually see okay guys let's get in okay yep yeah, um now I could start work on the ferries but I'm not very happy with this cruddy water in here it's going to be a problem you can see if i come in really close there's already health pro problems in this area and we really need to fix this and so what i want to do first is see if there's any flow there's some flow implied here by this water intake there and because the waters are right kind of are originating from here and there's no river that suggests to me that there's actually a source up here now if any of you guys are not familiar with the City Skylines map editor, what you do is where you've got bodies of water like this, you put in a sink source in there and what that and set the water level. And then what happens is the source pumps in water so the water gets to a certain level and then stops. And if the level goes too high, it absorbs it. If the level gets too low, it actually pumps water in. And I think this is what I spotted on my thing is if you actually look here, uh if i go to the terrain map you can see here guys that this lake is actually higher than this lake and it's the same over here so what i'm looking to do as i say you can see the cash slowly building up we're not paying too much attention to the monitors and what i'm going to do is i'm going to buy this tile 
mainly, well, f partly for two reasons actually. One, because I want to use it to try and leak the water out this way. But at the same time, also, it actually allows me to use the camera. I can actually move around now. So, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of breach through here, I think, to try and get a flow into this lake. And the idea is, is I'm assuming that here is a potential outfall. It may not work. I haven't tried this. I've looked at it in theory. I did buy the tile when I was looking at the map just to test this principle. So I'm going to be straight up front with you guys. And what I'm going to do is get here. I don't want to kind of pressurize. Let me just right click the key here now. And I'm just going to cut through here with this here. I could probably do with the, it a little bit bigger. I don't want to make it too deep because I, what I don't want to do is is make this lake equal to that lake. What I want is to have enough in this lake to come through here. But what I do want to check is the this is actually unlocked. And that was not wide enough yet. So what I'm going to do is kind of yep, stop doing that, please. Nope. And I think we'll go back small again here. And I think we can, oops, nope, this right mouse button. And uh, don't worry about the trees, guys. We will delete the trees. And I think we can just take that off as well. We're well, we spending a little bit of cash. That's why I let the game run. And what we're going to do is, yep, should, I had a feeling that would go through there. You can see now the water's now flowing into here. And hopefully that will now Yeah, we're now getting some flow into here. And what I want to do is kind of encourage this bit here to kind of come again. I don't want too much. I just want enough to get the water flowing over here. If for some reason we actually do manage to get down here, I think we could probably speed the game up a bit. And you can see the water's now going to flow out. So what we hope, I'm hoping to do is take all the cruddy water out of the system. And as I say, we've got a bit of money going. I think I should have enough here. Oops, no, I don't want that. Yeah. Cost 2,500. And what I want to do is get an outfall pipe as far south. If if you've watched, if you've played City of Sight Guidelines, you know the principle you get the crud water as far away from your population as possible and we're just gonna up here I think we can connect to that and we'll just get some power lines in I mean it's gonna make the water supply a little bit overpowered to start with but I think we're gonna do that and of course what I'm gonna do now is once this is working and it's picked the slack up, just make sure we should have massive amounts of water. Yes. Then what I'm going to do is pick this up and bring it down here. That now means that all the all the crud water up here. Oops, so I've lost the power connection here. We get that in quick before. And what that now means is that all the crud water in here will start to wash out here and we'll, hopefully we will flush this lake out. And the other thing I want to do is kind of get rid of this pump here. I'm kind of a bit inclined to move it up to here. So again, we've got the cash for it. So um, they've obligingly put water pipes here. So I think we're just going to connect that up to there and I think we can get power line into here and again once that's picked up yeah I want to pick this up now the reason I'm picking this up is if I show you here guys this is water pumps make noise not a lot of noise but who wants to live next to a pump, noisy pumping station running and running 24 hours a day so and of course what it means is that if the demand rises high enough we can actually put more pumps in there. Now there's one last thing I want to do before I actually start the proper work. If you call it proper work guys is again it's to do with water. 
come here and this is something I learned when I did my tsunami the can't remember the name of the scenario offhand now it was the one where you had to manage all the tsunamis and the water in that was totally stagnant but by doing that hopefully that will be connected up what this will do this is an outfall pipe which actually deals kind of dumps the water excess water out of the pumping system and what that will actually do is it will create a flow that will flush the water, the, the dirty water out of here. You can see it's already having an effect. Eventually we will buy this tile and make that connection and flush the remaining out. So it's now starting to work. I'm happy with that. And now we can get down to the nuts and bolts, guys. Road names, yes. This is a new feature with the DLC. You've got it automatically names roads and I think you can click on here and you can rename them. So I can call it Silverbeard Road. Oops. No, I live on an avenue, so maybe I should call it Silverbeard Avenue. No, Silverbeard Street, I think. And there we are. And then you probably proceed to demolish it. So, okay, guys, we've now got our the kind of sanitation up and running you can see I'm a little bit happier now we got we're getting rid of the crud water so people should be a lot healthier a lot happier now let's get down to the nuts and bolts we're getting we're piling up a little bit of cash now so I really kind of need to get some stimulus into that this economy and I'm kind of thinking let's get some industry over here now I've got to work a little bit guys on my thing because if you've any of you watched my let's plays you know that I always had a prejudice against four lane roads and that was purely suit seated in the fact that well it was seated in the fact that I hated traffic lights and I've now got to remember that I can switch traffic lights off in fact I think what we'll do is just get this in to get a bit of demand growing I don't think that's gonna let me we're gonna have to compromise a little bit on here in fact I think maybe we will just stick that out I think this is more important than that oh, bugger. take this out get a refund I don't know where that the name of that road is and we can connect that through there and I think what I want to do this is a district because it's a forestry area here what I'm going to do is push this south a little bit like that but I'm going to trim the top off like this and then we're so that we've got more generic industry at the top I know I'm so I've been a bit brutal guys but what the way my thinking is that this is the residential area and I want the pollution up this area right let's get a little bit of industry going Again, so they've put kind of footpaths along here, and to be honest, I, I don't particularly like that. So, the way to show you is if I click here, you can see that just by taking the footpaths away, I can now kind of get. Whoops, bugger. Oh, bugger. I'm just going to pause the game. Shouldn't, didn't mean to do that. And uh, that's a six lane. Why on earth would I want a six lane road here? don't really want a six lane road here um, I think I'd rather take this down to a four lane with trees and of course we're going to need to join that in there take that out I'm just going to unpause again let this run and I think we can get a little bit of I think we can have a, a nice run like that to there and we can have some that should be enough to get us going I don't want don't like zoning in large areas we'll probably cut through here eventually but that's got the population growing we're making quite a lot of cash Got demand for commercial now what I'm kind of thinking guys is 
to have a kind of commercial business zone up here I don't I don't particularly want too much commercial down here I might grow some here but my initial target for commercial is here and, I, and I'm going to stay with two rave roads simply because of the things and I think if we can get in here and I'm on the curved roads that's better I'm not sure if that actually yeah that fits and I think we can come down here sorry it's going to be a bit gridded guys but I, I, for this initial layout that's what I want to go with and that should connect through to there and we can get some commercial in here and I was just going to kind of whack through a bit like this guys and I think we'll just snick out that there and what we will probably do is bring the commercial down here now you need to be aware that these RCI meters are relative to the population and the population at the moment is only about 6,000 people so I think we've solved the initial problems what I want to do now is have a quick look round to see so we got like a big police headquarters up here so we got a health center here that's okay I think we can go with that we've got I think that's a police headquarters as well I, I just don't like things like that I prefer more your local Bobby on the beat type mentality I'd love to get something in down here they've got a bit of an issue but maybe yeah I mean I'd love to have a fire proper fire department over here I think we're, we'll get a proper fire department in here that will perk this area up because we are going to run the risk of fire guys you can see everything here is red and that's to do with the fact that trees can catch fire from the natural disasters DLC and normal fire engines cannot fight fires so that's something you need to bear in mind we've got good coverage for police education is good at the moment across the board we don't got a university but I think we can live without that we've got 69,000 and I think what we can do now is start thinking about our first ferry links and kind of what I'm thinking is giving these people a reason to get up to here because of course this is industry and you can see there's already demand for people so I think what we can do let's get our first ferry link in now ferries work the same similar way to buses that you've got to put a depot in first this isn't part of the route it's just where the source of your ferries are I'm going to put that there but eventually it will probably move down to about here but at the moment I don't want to kind of build things out and I'm going to put a ferry terminal there how much are these ferry terminals I'm whacking them down oh they're pretty cheap and I'm kind of thinking one there and maybe one probably on this promontory as well actually how big is the ferry pier oh that's big that's very very big but we can fit it in there what I'm thinking of making is this is a kind of ferry hub and maybe we'll get one in there now what you've got to do is remember to connect these up to the roads obviously they won't well they work but they won't actually carry any passengers uh, that's I think we can connect that up and this one I'm kind of thinking let's get off the get curved I think oh I'm kind of thinking a bit like that maybe coming in like that and this one you can just come up here oh, come on I want that yeah that do so we've got that connection there so quick I mean the city's pretty well gridded up for water so that shouldn't be a problem oops looks like we've got a power problem great okay ah what have we got here 20 megawatts i'm quite happy i think we're whacker how much have we got here we've got mm, a bit hot don't really want two of these let's get 
in something like that. That should get things fired up nicely, yep. And you can connect there. You're all connected up. Let's get some ferry routes in, get things up running along quite nicely. Eventually I will build this in as a residential area. And hopefully that will attract people to come up this way. Now ferry routes work very much the same way. I was just about to say is blimps, but of course if any of you guys haven't actually played the game, you won't know what I'm talking about. It works very much like metros. You you lay a path in or aircraft. What you do is you lay a path in like this. And maybe we can come out a little bit like that. And of course you've got curved roads as well. Or curve paths. We can come in like that. And I think we can go straight from here to there. And then what you do is once so if you imagine these are metro type tunnels or paths, then what you do then is just link up the ferries here. And it's two way even though it kind of That's interesting. Okay, we'll we'll go like that then. And you can see we've got an immediate effect there, lots of demand for residents. So we're going to need to work on that. But you can see the ferries are coming out straight away. And what I'm going to do is we're going to get our new residence in here. And I think what we can do is we can join up across like that. And this is one of the cool features now is that you can actually kind of come up here. Oh, come on. Oops, let's go straight. That's better. And you can actually, these vertical lines actually give you a nice straight guide like that, guys. You can come in like that. And we can come out like that. And I think that will come in like that. And that's gone a little bit wonky because of the connection points. But we'll be okay, guys. We'll be okay. And what I'm going to do straight away is I'm going to kind of concentrate the new residents here now these do have ferry terminals do leave noise so what i'm going to do is put a little bit of commercial there but i'm going to leave a gap round for the offices when they become available as you can see here the water's clearing away quite nicely we've got people moving in now we're getting a bit of demand i think maybe we will be a bit more creative with the roads here and i think we can Kind of come here, and that should get us up and running and flying. And what I'm going to do now is go into the traffic manager, have a look round. You can see here the flow of the traffic round the city. So obviously, most of the traffic's coming in from here. We've got a bit of flow round here to various buildings some flow down to here this is through the sections of road so you can kind of click on here so if you kind of click here you can see where people are coming so at the moment we've got people coming around from there I don't know no, it doesn't show that oh well, we've had four people use the ferries but one more interested at the moment is junctions we're going traffic light spotting and they're going to go off straight away I do not like traffic lights, so uh, I'll manage the traffic. So you can see here, there's a tailback building up there already because of that stupid traffic lights. And certainly get rid of these. Any more? Yep, some more up here. I mean, I might put some back on. I'm, I'm not. I'm not dogmatic about it. But I don't want, I want to switch traffic lights on where I think there's an issue. Not where they've just been put in. So we've got rid of the traffic lights. We've got this is now, see the green, there's a tail back here and the traffic lights have already got things moving a bit. We've got the populations growing quite nicely. Our ferries are working. 
on our single ferry line. I'm not going to go overboard, guys. Let's have a quick look. I think this is the ferry route. Nope. Which is the ferry route. Is that the ferry route? No, this is the ferry route. So so far, we carry nine passengers. But it's not, don't, not to worry, guys. We will get there. I mean, the big problem is going to be growing the city. So I want to kind of just concentrate on the issues we've got. People are still coming into the city. It's growing quite nicely. We've cleared out all the crud from the lake, which I'm quite happy. Got, obviously got a power issue here. I'm not sure what's causing it. Yeah, we've got, still got more power issues. So I think we're getting another one of these in here. I haven't checked the budget. Let's have a quick look at the budget. Certainly going to go up to 11%. Oh, big town. So we've got another tile. We've got leisure specialization. We've got now got high density and offices. We've got new roads, blimp path pathways. So we've now got access to blimps. Although we probably won't be using them. And we, more importantly, we've got some access to some disaster stuff. Although I don't think we're going to get any disasters in this scenario. We've also got access to incinerators. That's going to be useful. Now, any of you guys playing the normal games think, well, that's a bit weird. I've only got 6,000 people and I haven't gone up much. You need to remember that with scenarios supplied by the colossal games, is they, they actually have the ability to, to fiddle the paths here. So... I kind of flip through here. We've got big town. The next one, small city at twelve, that nine thousand. Big city at fifteen thousand. Grand city at eighteen thousand. Capital city at thirty thousand. Colossal city at forty thousand. I mean, if you were playing the normal game, you're now up to seventy. You know, over a hundred, up around hundred thousand people. So, so that's something to bear in mind. We've now got this area working quite nicely. And of course, the game slowed up a bit. We've got a little bit of industry, but I think we can now suck that up with a few offices around here to provide a kind of time barrier. I don't think we need the power lines through here now. They can go because we should have a pretty good power pattern, pattern here now. And we can take that out. I think maybe that we get that. And of course, because of the Like that, that should. And we don't need these power lines, so they can go. So we've got a little bit of. And I think what we need to do now is work on getting the education up. Let's have a quick look. We've got elementary schools. Yeah, we're, we're good for education at the moment, guys. And I think what we've we got, we've got 135,000. So I th what I want to do is buy this tile um, purely and simply because I want to open up the flow on this side. So we're going to open this tile. We can actually open, get another tile. I'll probably buy that one next, but I think I'll leave it for the moment so I can work on it. And what I'm going to do here, guys, is Let's say it's the sound of the water's flowing out here quite nicely now. And I think what we're going to do now is give this a bit of a shove. But what I am going to do is use a canal here. Because you can use canals. But I would recommend if you're going to do this is use a deep, wouldn't use a deep canal or a wide canal. Or I would suggest but otherwise what you do is you want to empty this lake into this lake and unstabilize it. And what I'm going to use is a shallow canal. Oh, we're just going to come through here and, and of course what's going to happen is unlike the train tool the water will rush through and possibly flood and what I'm kind of thinking is another one up here through here so what I'm going to do is literally come through here and I want to get the flooding out the way before I build up here so, I mean, do you guys get in the feel for the structure? And I can't see much point in putting a ferry terminal here because I don't think anyone's going to travel around here. But I think if we can expand out into this area, actually, I think what I am going to do is buy that top tile. 
So we've now got the top tile, guys. And the reason for that is what I'm thinking is industry up here. Serious industry with a little bit of residential on this side, providing a cross flow into the city that way. And then we'll have some kind of transport system running up into here, which will allow people. And what we will do is create a residential area down here with no with only a ferry connection that's the thinking i don't know if it's actually going to work because what we could do is put a short ferry across here but what we would have to do then is build services but there is a railway line over here so we may be able to take advantage of that okay guys let's let's get into here let's have a quick look at this road what is this? This is a six lane road. I don't really want a six lane road here. But I will put a four lane road in. Large avenue with grass. That looks nice. Maybe we'll put that in. And I think we'll switch this on. Road grid lines. And I think we're just going to. So you can get here, see the angle. And we're just going to. I think we're going to push a road up virtually like that. Now, if you've watched my previous Let's Plays, you would nor normally expect me to do a side-by-side -side one way road, but I'm prepared to give these a go. Actually, what I don't like is that, actually. Let's... Dirt roads are very nice, but they are actually very, very slow, so so what would um of course they don't have the same curb appeal as so i think what we're going to do is go through here we need to keep an eye on the cache i think we're just going to upgrade these roads i mean this may be a, a nice rural quiet rural community but who wants to live on a dirt road apologies to any of you guys who live on a dirt road but i live in the uk and Virtually all the roads in this country are metalled unless you go right out in the middle of nowhere. And I think even out in the middle of nowhere now, most of the roads are hard tops. Except for private roads. So I think we can give these people the luxury of uh, having their own kind of roads. I don't think that's not going to line up, is it? That will go... That one won't. This one will. Any more up here, so. Okay, guys. Again, apologies. I'm going to probably grid this to start with. Partly just to let you guys see the drawing tool, I suppose. You can see here, this makes it a lot more easier to go. And what we're going to do is come up 30 in. 30 in and I think we'll come up another 30 plus one oh, nope let's come up like that and we're just gonna this is gonna be like my main say my main block residential area or for immediate growth we'll probably put a bit of commercial in the front end there and that can come up here like that so let's get some let me just check the water no no water guys so game will just come up like that this is a bit manky but and the magic number is 440 but i'm not going to use it on this side i think we'll just connect back there but i will use it on this side and Let's say the magic number is 440, but there's two 440s. The one you... Oh! I actually changed that, actually. 460. Oh, they fixed a bug. Okay. It's the magic number is now 460, although it does leave a narrow band. So maybe 440 might be the better. And I've got a two-way road there. That's okay. I think I can live with that and I think what we're going to do is go high density here as I say this is going to be you could say my uptown area 
maybe that's a bit too far in and I think what we're going to do is get some offices across like that so there's a sound barrier maybe we'll go s it pays to go in eights or fours and eights because that's the size of a block and I think we'll have some commercial in here like that and of course we've got no power so we need to get power across here very very quickly that should fill in quite nicely let's say this is going to be my uptown you could say main market area and I think you can come in here with that area there and that's probably going to distort okay let's just knock that out again guys sorry about this oh no it's actually worked out quite well so I can go back in so we've got this area building up now so we're up to 6,000 we've got a bit of transport moving and I think what we probably can do is maybe get another ferry terminal up here but I think maybe what I will do is grid this across again guys sorry I'm just gonna grid across like this and I think what we're gonna see the line there guys that gives you a gives you a kind of good line marker into the so and what do we want oh yeah ferry terminals <laughs> I gotta remember to look for them and so you can move them out but I don't think I'm just gonna pop one there and I think we can see the line there guys the intersect line and I think that's looking good and I think we're just gonna have to put a temporary power supply in maybe we'll run it up through here like that and we'll just extend the route a little bit see that see the the canals automatically puts the ferry route in for you just to prove that I'm not conning you guys there you are the ferry routes already in there so what we could do is kind of curve that and I think what we can do is I think you can drag this up to here and then put a should be able to drag that in no, no I don't want to create a new line I want to Why won't oh that's done it. So we've now got a ferry running round here. We've got a water problem. So and I'm just gonna come down. I think I'm gonna have to experiment with this, but the 460 should be the old price, but that's not well, that's close enough, I suppose. Right guys, we've got a bit of industrial over there so I think what we'll do and we're doing for cash got plenty of cash so and I think what we can do is let's have a slightly lazy way across here like that and I think maybe we will oh it's a park there so maybe we'll just come across like that and I think we can just come across into there like that got a little bit of flooding on that part there but it'll be okay guys and again I think if we can I think let's just take the snapping off and go freestyle here and just whoops that doesn't look very good does it that's a bit better and I think we can drop some more office in here create a kind of office area here to cover the noise of the ferry like that 
So we're up to 7,000. A quick run of review of the goals, guys. So we're up to nearly 7,000 already. We've got two, nearly a quarter of a million in the bank. We've carried 823 people. And it's looking good. I think we've got a little bit of a ferry system running now. And I don't really want to work too much in the way of ferries around here. What I want to do is really push the ferries a little bit over here. But I think this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this first episode. I've kind of cracked through it pretty quickly. Actually, I think what I am going to do while I'm looking at this, guys, we've got a bit of education and I need to think about it. Let's get some education in here and get the police in as well. I don't think I think it won't harm do harm to get some police or fire and police coverage in just to get it going. And of course, garbage is going to be an issue. We're going to have to think about the garbage. Uh, health. Yeah, let's get a bit of health in as well. So we got the cash for it. So uh, we haven't unlocked crematoriums yet. So there's the we've got one graveyard up here. I think we what we can do probably is get a graveyard in there in this area here. Maybe we'll drop a couple of parks in. Sorry, I've got distracted, guys. Apologies. And maybe we can. That's got a nice big radius on it. Maybe we can get a park in there and maybe we'll have another one just there. And probably a park up here will help with the... Yeah, that's... But this is definitely where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. In the next part, we're going to keep building this area up. I don't know what it's called. Lake City! And, well, we're just going to keep things building up nicely, work towards the population of 25,000, and keep working the ferry systems up. As I say, what I'll be looking to do is probably have a ferry link over here to a residential area where people come through and work. Maybe we'll have a kind of, uh, a road kind of comes through here. Maybe we'll have a kind of office or industrial commercial area here. Or maybe we can have another residential area here and then we can develop this area up here as an industrial stroke commercial area. But I think this is definitely where I'm going to leave it, guys. So hope you enjoyed the episode and until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.